Welcome back to the channel. Let me say thank you very much for all my subscribers and everybody that threw their comments and their thoughts into the comments section of my last video. It was very helpful. I really appreciate it. Everybody has their own opinion and I definitely appreciate everybody saying, staying civil and polite and everything else throughout the entire process. So I wanted to update everybody on what is going on with the Andra. I'm doing this extremely fast. I know the video quality is garbage. I promise I'll make a better video next time, but I wanna get the information out as fast as I can. So if you haven't seen the issue that I had, watch my previous video, but I wanted to update everybody on what the status is. I firmly believe that every board manufacturer will have issues. Even Evolve had issue with their first couple boards, you know, first series of boards that they, they produced. They had connection issues. Just Google or YouTube search any board and you'll find somebody that's had issues with it. So every board has issues. It's how the board manufacturer handles the issues that matters to me. So moving forward, right after I had the problem, I reached out to Fabian. He did watch the video. Anzra commented on the video, said something on the video. And then he got back with me and he gave me pretty much three options. So option one, I could try to fix it myself and a subscriber even gave me this idea. And that would be to take this seal out, re-glue this down, and then drill a hole all the way through the deck and put a longer screw all the way through the deck into this. Um, option two was to send it to his, his person in Texas. So he just got a new person that I think is going to be doing all the maintenance or all the warranty requests on boards in the United States. So I could send it to Texas and have it fixed there. And then option three was you're going to send me a new deck. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then a viewer requested, a subscriber requested dimensions of the battery compartment. So I said, you know what, let me do that right. Let me take this all the way off. I'll check all inside it again and I'll get him the dimensions and get it to him. So that's what I did, I took all this out. In the process of doing that, I kind of had an epiphany. And I think that maybe, just maybe, I could have prevented this from happening in the first place. So when the board shipped, I was looking at all these screws, none of these screws have Loctite on them. So if I would have taken these screws out individually, one by one, put some red Loctite on them and then put them back in, they would have stayed tight. I actually think that through 360 miles, that's what I have on the board now, 360 miles, I've been riding on the roughest stuff that I can find. Sidewalks, rough pavement, taking it off road, trying to do my reviews. And I think what happened is these screws started loosening up and they kept getting more and more loose. I never tightened them, I never checked them. I think that added strain on the sockets that go into the board and that's what caused it to fail. So if I would have put Loctite and if I would have kept checking these and making sure that they were tight, I might have been able to prevent this problem from ever happening. But I have to test that in order to say that that could be a fix. For everybody that has a board, I highly suggest taking these out one by one, putting red Loctite on them and then putting them back in. So what I'm gonna do is I chose option three and Anzra gonna send me a new deck once I get that deck, I'm going to swap everything over. I'll do a video on it. I'm going to swap everything over off of this deck, and I'm going to make sure that I Loctite these in. Then I'm going to have to put another 300 miles on the new deck in order to test this theory. So stay with me. Be patient with me. I'll put those miles in as fast as I can. But I'm also going to check these after, I don't know, probably every two or three rides. At the beginning, I'll start checking them after every ride. But if they stay tight, then I'll start checking them every two to three rides. And let's see if that's a fix. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get a new deck, I'm gonna swap everything else out, and I'm gonna test this. I can't say enough about Onsdra customer service. So I'm sure you've seen my videos with my previous board. I don't wanna harp on it. I know every board has problems but why I was salty about that whole situation is because of how they handled the problem. Onzra did the exact opposite. So yes, it had a problem. I'm still riding it. I've put 
40 miles on it since I found this problem. I put 40 miles on it around there, give or take. So, but they saw that they're a problem. They're, they're more than willing to bend over backwards and help me out to fix it. They're willing to let me try to fix it myself for my channel. They're willing to pay for the shipping for me to ship it off to somebody and have somebody else fix it and ship it back or they're willing to pay for the shipping and the part of an entire new deck in order to see if that's you know my my theory in this is the is correct so let's see stay with me and we'll see how this goes i also had a request for just some unedited video of the rubber tires so i went on a quick ride it's it's kind of windy i'm sorry but I figured I'd throw this that in this video also. So here's some video of just the rubber tires on asphalt. 